my channel. Happy Monday! I hope you're having a fabulous day and if you're not, well then I'm going to try my darndest to make your day better. And the first thing I'm going to do to help your, mate, help your day better is helping you save some money. So I was going through my collection of makeup because I'm kind of on a no-buy until November because I purchased a lot of money worth, money's worth of makeup in the last like two weeks. So I've kind of put myself on a no buy. I put myself in the corner of the makeup realm. So I was going through my makeup trying to figure out different items that I could pull out that I haven't used in a really long time. And I realized that I have a lot of makeup items that are three dollars and under. And so I thought, duh Taylor, let's do a three dollars and under makeup video. A lot of people do the five under five, the ten under ten. Well I have a crap ton of three under three. Well, it's not a three under three, but I have a lot of makeup that's three dollars and under, so I thought I would share some of my absolute favorites with all of you, and we're going to go brand by brand because a lot of it is brand specific, and you've probably heard of a lot of these brands before, but I just really wanted to get on here and share with us, just in case you haven't, because I can save you some money. So, let's get started with the video, shall we? So the first brand we're going to start off with is e.l.f. And everyone knows if you're in the beauty community that e.l.f. is one of the best makeup brands when it comes to inexpensive items. Now it is starting to get a little more pricey the more and more the brand gets out there and more products they have for, you know, a lot less is kind of diminishing. So I'm kind of getting a little disappointed about that. But the products that I do have are some of my absolute favorites from e.l.f. And I thought that I would definitely share them with all of you. We're going to start off with my brushes, first of all. I have lots of brushes for e.l.f. These are actually the first brushes I ever purchased when I was kind of dabbling into the makeup realm. And so these are really inexpensive. All of these are $3. And I think these two white ones are two dollars so so this one right here is an awesome awesome crease brush and it is from the essentials line of elf this is two dollars like i said earlier and it has such a fine tip on it that it's perfect to get right in that crease and blend it up so if you're getting a really defined v look this is the perfect brush to use and i absolutely love using this i've had this for about um, I'm getting makeup on me. I've had this for about, I didn't clean them for you, sorry. I've had this for about a year and a half and I haven't noticed any damage to the ferrule of the brush or anything to the bristles. None of them have come out or anything like that. So this is a really good made quality brush and I really enjoy it for my everyday use of makeup. The next one I have is the blending eye brush and you notice that this one is a little bit bigger and it's great for blending at the crease. I don't use this for a diffuse blended out look. I actually use this for the stamp method that Kristen Gang talks about. I take a darker shade and I stamp it in my crease and then I kind of blend it with this and then I take an even fluffier blending brush to diffuse the color even more. So this is like my step two of my three step blending process that I always use. I use this every single day. It, every day, never fails. I always use this brush. So for two dollars, I have definitely got my use out of it so far. I've had this for about a year as well and there has been no damage. It is still perfectly intact and the bristles are not the softest bristles that you could possibly have but I don't mind because like I said I'm just trying to get the color up in there but it does really good at packing that on so I don't mind the not as soft bristles. Going on with the theme of eyeshadow brushes this is the eyeshadow brush right here and it is dirty I'm sorry I was doing a super like dark blue eye um, actually the Lorac smoky blue eye that I posted on Instagram if you're not following me you need to check it out I'll leave the link down below but this is an awesome brush I've had this for the same time frame and it works perfectly fine there's no damage to anything at all they also have one of these in the essential brush line but I think I gave that one to somebody. Anyway, I don't have it anymore, but this one works just the same. It's just a dollar extra, so I really enjoy that. These next three are some of my favorite, favorite face brushes from e.l.f. This first one is a small stipple brush, and this is the perfect thing to use for all of those ColourPop cream products. So I just tap it in there and just kind of stipple it onto my cheek. So this is awesome for any of those cream products, cream highlights, anything like that. I swear by this brush. It is phenomenal. 
it has been put to the test a hell of a long time and I love this brush. Um, this one right here is the blush brush and I do use it as a blush brush as well. I just kind of tap it in the product. It's perfect for the size of my cheek, kind of blending it up and it is tapered as well. You can use this for several different things. I use it typically for blush but I do have another one just like this one that I actually use to set my under eye concealer because it's tapered, it's kind of bigger and so it gets in there really close to the waterline so I really enjoyed this brush as well. And this little one right here is actually new to my collection. I'd seen this online, but I hadn't seen it in stores, so I never purchased it until now. And it is the e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush. And this one has been my highlighting genius. And I have been obsessed with this brush. Like, I've been obsessed with highlight recently, which I've never been before. So I've really been enjoying this brush. It is basically the smaller version of the... I'm throwing that one down. It's the smaller version of the other one. So it's just like it's a little baby sister. Super, super cute. So I love both of these and then the simple brush as well. Now as far as Elf's eyeshadows, a lot of times they are hit or miss. I used to have the compact where I could fill my own eyeshadows, but I've since stopped using them and stopped using those shadows. But a couple of the items that they've come out here recently are still my absolute favorites. I use them all of the freaking time, and so I definitely want to talk about them. The first thing I have is the Elf Smudge Pot right here, and the one that I have is in Cruising Chic. And this is a complete and total dupe for the Maybelline Color Tattoo and Bad to the Bronze. Like this color looks just like that color. It doesn't, it's not as full color as that, but I can get the same look. I just may have to build it a little bit more, but I can get the same achieved look. And this is only $3. So I'm very happy about this. Um, a couple of the lighter smudge pots that I have, they're a little bit harder to work with, but I really enjoyed this color and I want to get some darker ones from them eventually. And then something else I also really enjoy is the e.l.f. Long Lasting Lustrous, lustrous eyeshadow and this is in Soiree and this is like a cream formula but it's also like a shimmer and this one is actually in a gorgeous cranberry you can kind of see that from the back it's a gorgeous cranberry brown and I love wearing this eyeshadow it is gorgeous it lasts all day and these colors come in some really nice colors I know another one that I really want to try is toasted and this is gorgeous gold this is like very shimmery perfect for the holiday eye look I I love this eyeshadow. Love it. I randomly found it one day and I have been addicted to it ever since. The last thing that's an absolute favorite for me from e.l.f. is their blushes. And this one right here is an absolute favorite from me personally and it is Mellow Mauve. I have some of their contouring palettes and stuff like that but I really enjoy the blushes more than the contour so I kind of not been using those. I really before the blushes themselves. And I really like this one because it's like a perfect natural blush. So I can put this on if I don't know what eye look I'm going with. This is a great blush to just have on my cheeks that goes with any eye look that I create. So I really really enjoy this. It has great pigmentation and it lasts all day so you can't beat that for three dollars. Now we're moving on to Jordana. I absolutely love this makeup line. I found it when I lived in Savannah last year and I was always in a lot of the Walgreens and they had a Kmart near my apartment so I was always there all the time and that's where I fell in love with Jordana Cosmetics. Now a lot of their products are just above the $3 range but these babies right here are actually going in at $2.99 so they're on my list. And this right here is one of my absolute favorite blushes. If you watched my fall favorites tag or um, any of my other fall themed things, this is my go-to blush for fall. I'm wearing it on my cheeks today with a highlighter on top and it is just gorgeous guys. I love, love, love this. This is Blushing Rose and it is phenomenal. I absolutely adore it. It is one of my absolute favorites and then when this is gone, I will straight up repurchase it over and over and over because it is gorgeous and it looks perfect with my skin tone. The next one I have is another blush from them and this one is in Pink Beauty. <clears throat> And this is your classic pink, pink blush. It is a little blue toned pink blush. It has a little bluish tone to it. So I really enjoy using this during the spring and summer months. I don't typically use it during the fall, 
but during the spring and summer this thing comes out like crazy I sometimes use it during the winter too just because it gives that whole flush cold look even though it's like you know I'm not cold here at all but I really enjoyed this blush as well and the last brand that we are talking about is wet n wild I mean duh I can't name a brand under three dollars and I mentioned wet and wild cosmetics I mean that's just absurd and I someone needs to bonk my head otherwise so let's start off with the eyeshadows okay so these are the color icon trios I've been a fan of these since I first started makeup and I actually got both of these um, well, the idea to purchase both of these from Emily Noel 83, which I'll link her channel down below. She is phenomenal. And so the first one I ever purchased when I first got into makeup is the Walking on Eggshells. And this is not even one of the ones that I used to have back then. This is since then a replacement, and I need to replace this one again, obviously. I absolutely adore this palette. It is phenomenal. And if you're getting into makeup, if you're a young preteen and you're looking for something just to get you into the door of makeup, this is perfect. It is foolproof. You can't screw it up with this trio. I mean, you can't. You can't. The next one that I've since then started using is Silent Treatment. And this one is perfect because it's like almost the smoky eye, but it's not a smoky eye. And so this is this trio right here. You have a gorgeous pink up top. You have a plum color right down here. And then you do have a like dark purple brown. And so this is perfect if you are kind of stepping up your game from the walking on eggshells to this one. This will be perfect before you start going into those deep dark smoky eyes. The next two things are these singles right here. And I have two singles that I love. First one is Creme Brulee. You've probably all heard of this shadow. It is beloved on every social media site right here. And this one is awesome. I use it every single day as my lid base. And it's only 99 cents, which is holy crap amazing. I absolutely love this eyeshadow. The next one I have, I also got from Kristen Game. She talked about it and she showed me on her channel and I had to have it. And it is Nutty. And it is just gorgeous. This is a perfect one shadow look. It is definitely duochromed in its nature. It looks like a gorgeous taupe, but it has some purples in there. And it is just phenomenal, phenomenal. And again, 99 cents. What the heck? I can't. I can't. Now, of course, I could not end this video without talking about Wet n Wild lipsticks, and especially the matte formula. Last year, this time, this shade in particular, I was obsessed with. I'm telling you, I wore it every single day for at least three months, at least, okay? And it is mauve out of here. This is actually since then a replacement because I used the other one completely up. And it is just gorgeous. It is a matte formula. And I love these shades. If you are in the beauty community at all, then you know how amazing this matte formula is, especially for $2.99. I mean, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So this is an awesome one. All the limited edition ones that are coming out are super awesome as well. Um, this one is one of my favorites as well as cherry picking. So I would definitely encourage you to pick both of these up at the drugstore as well, especially if you're trying to dip your toe into matte lipsticks, but you don't want to go ahead and get like an expensive, like creamy matte lipstick from a high end brand or anything like that. This is perfect to kind of get you used to a matte lipstick on your lips. All right, guys, so that is all the makeup products that I have in my collection that is under $3. If you have any suggestions for any makeup products that are under $3 as well, be sure to let me know down below so I can go purchase them and check them out because I'm all about getting makeup on a budget. Okay, aren't we all? aren't we all? So I hope you're having a fabulous day. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy saving money like I do on makeup. And be sure to subscribe, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. I post videos every Monday and every Friday. And until then, I will see you on Friday. Bye guys!